Hi everyone, welcome to Before I Tell Raw, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a love reading for the sign of Leo. Remember that the readings are in general, all of the messages will not resonate with everyone, okay? Hopping right into it, messages for the sign of Leo. Love messages for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles flipping over first, and we also have the Three of Wands. I'm laughing because I started your reading like not too long ago and the first card that came out was the higher fan I was talking about how you guys may be thinking about marriage and all of this good stuff yeah that's what you're thinking about you're thinking about long long term commitments and you you're, you're hoping that it's coming in you actually feel like it's coming in you feel it coming in you may be seeing this energy coming towards you like um you you, you you're receiving the signs the king of wands is here at the bottom of the deck that's your energy masculine energy though with it being a king of wands but it could be feminine i mean it could be a female right just in the energy of a go-getter type of energy or you could be involved with one a, a can't mean could be a cancer um an aries leo sagittarius energy but let's get more messages more messages for the sign of leo the moon card so you may be afraid there may be some things hidden you may feel like some things are hidden. Okay, you want the Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking about this long-term situation with this person, but you're a little confused. There's some mixed emotions. All right, the Moon card definitely is something hidden. And then with the Seven of, seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, that's the mixed emotions. It could be what's hidden is that there's other individuals in the picture, other options in the picture, I should say, or at the same time, what's, what's hidden is that the fact that whatever you're feeling may just be an illusion. And it, there's a need to face the fears about whatever it is that you're thinking about. Like, you may just be replaying uh, some old moments in your mind. More messages. For Leo, heartbreak, yeah. Okay, heartbreak and pain, three of swords. So you may need to, ad to address some issues, some pain, some triggers that may be going on. Uh... But I really feel like, I really feel there may be an illusion, like a trickster type of energy. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck, right? Don't give up because look at this. I'm about to show you that card behind it. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is right behind the um, Nine of Wands. That things are changing, that things will change, that things are, there's like fortunate changes here, right? You're going to be moving on to towards a, um, a peaceful state of mind. More messages here. We have, okay, so yeah, we got the full card that just fell out in reverse. We have the four of swords underneath the three of wands, and we have the seven of pentacles. All right, so I'm glad the four of swords did come out. So you're going to be taking the time out, or you are taking the time out to address these issues, to, to pray, to um, just heal heal that broken heart to try to mend that broken heart on your own if that's what's going on. This full card in reverse. You feel like maybe you made a foolish decision. The Seven of Pentacles is saying, allow something to grow. Wait it out. Okay, the Seven of Cups back at the bottom of the deck is like, look, you need to make a decision or these are on, this is only an illusion or, uh, hmm, like I said, just make a decision. So I'm going to pull out another card. One more card here with the sign of Leo, the Four of Cups. Now you're in this bratty type of energy here with the Four of Cups. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if this is, the, I don't know if the opportunity is for me. Like something comes towards you, you push it away. You're thinking about rejecting it. There's a need to appreciate everything that you already have because I feel like something is growing. Something is manifesting. Manifesting. Something is brewing in the background. Look, the hyphen is right behind the ma uh, magician. So let's get some clarifiers here and see what's really going on. What's really going on here for the sign of Leo? And say so they don't want to shuffle for me. More messages here for the sign of Leo. Please and thank you. I swear this deck do not want to show for me in this moment. All right, here we go. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for the sign of Leo? 
Yeah, if someone feels as if they may be missing out on their uh, ten, of, ten of Pentacles. Don't sit in that energy. I'm trying to tell you, this is not the moment for that. <laughs> we got the Six of Pentacles here, right? Um, that's falling out. That this equal give and take. This receiving what you deserve. Uh, it could be some people out here with a handout, looking for something. But this is the the Six of Pentacles is like, look, you deserve the Ten of Pentacles. You deserve that long term um, committed energy. Just allow it to come. Be receptive. More messages here. Clear because the Ten of Pentacles, by the way, I didn't say that, is at the bottom of the deck. Clarify the Three of Wands here for the sign of Leo. Clarify the Three of Wands here for the sign of Leo. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, Source. You like, look, they just need to wait. You just need to wait. You just got you. You just have to allow the ships to come in, the ships to come towards you. Like on this card, you don't see the ship, you don't see the boat, you don't see it at all. She's just waiting, but she knows. Well, this is about like since she has this um, surfboard, she's basically waiting for that wave to come in, to come through, so she can hop on that wave and just go ahead and flow. To the destination with the three of wands here, you see your ships coming in. So not only, whew, not only are your ships are about to come in, right? Not only are the ships about to come in for Leo, but you're about to catch your wave. You're about to hop on on your wave. Matter of fact, it's gonna probably be other people trying to catch and hop on your wave. So you better watch out for those people. Um, this eight of swords here. You've been in that self-imposed imprisonment mode, like overthinking about a situation. Just allow things to come towards you, Leo, because things are about to be super peaceful. You're going to be super happy. You're going to be super excited. And it could have everything to do with maybe your finances. But I feel like, once again, we're talking about relationship, right? This person that you're looking for, this person who's loyal, committed, this, is, this could be you expecting a person who can match your energy. I feel like it's coming in. Look at this. We have something new coming towards you that you may have to put work into the situation in order to get to that ten of pentacles, but it's well worth it. Clarify the moon card. Clarify the moon card. Told you. I said that. I, I said it's, it's as if it's only an illusion. You think it's only darkness. It's, you, you don't see anything coming towards you right now. It's like, should I continue to make this happen? Should I continue to do this? Should I, am I on the right path type of energy? The two of swords. Because you don't see the outcome. Because you don't see something happening at the moment. You feel as if maybe source isn't working. You probably don't feel that way. You probably know for sure that source is working in the background. And if you don't know, I'm just letting you know this right, right now. The judgment card here at the bottom of the deck. The thing about this is, source is asking you, <clears throat> make the decision. Are you going to... Um, are you going to continue to work on your craft? Are you going to continue to uh, walk this path that you've been walking on? Or are you going to backtrack? Are you going to go on another path? Are you going to um, uh, backslide? Whatever you're going to do. What decision are you going to make? Because you have one. We all have choices. We all have free will. You can continue to work and get to this. Look, lover's connection. This, lover's, this, this, this relationship that you're truly looking for. That you've been working on yourself for so you can receive what you you deserve in life something that matches your uh energy or are you going to continue to stay like in that dark stage and, and say oh nothing is happening for me sitting in the hurt rejecting the opportunities that's actually coming towards you because you because you're sitting in the energy of nothing is coming towards you Long as, you, as long as you say that, as long as you feel that way, nothing will come towards you. You will continue to miss the opportunities. So it's time to pull out of the energy, heal, allow things to grow and flourish, and actually look up. Actually look that way. And re actually realize, you know what, that is an opportunity. Maybe this is the person that's with me. Or, you know what, well, this person did not look the way that they, I expected them to look. Maybe they did not... Uh, they just didn't come off as you thought they would, but that that's probably the um, the offer, or the opportunity, the person that Source is trying to give you. Clarify the Three of Swords, please. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. All right, Leo, I was interrupted, but let's not let it stop the show. With the Queen of Pentacles here on top of the Three of Swords, I really feel like someone has put in everything that they possibly can in this relationship or in relationships, period. 
you feel like you've built yourself to this person to be able to um, nurture yourself and others to be like that perfect perfect wifey material or someone thought that they had this type of energy and end up being hurt and heartbroken all right three of swords at the bottom of the deck the nine of swords underneath there nine of wands someone just ready to complete yeah about ready to completely give up on um true love right finding true love and having true love but let's get some more messages here but we we're gonna look up in the situation we're gonna um address these fears address the feelings of being in such doubt replacing that energy with faith and knowing that everything is going to be okay because you don't want to sit there for too long and miss out on an opportunity that can actually be that ten of pentacles that you're looking for right that you know is coming in but it's energies around you that's trying to make you doubt anyways clarify the full card in reverse let's see what that's about so the will of fortune if you feel like you missed out on an opportunity if you were if if something didn't work out something isn't pushing forward it's either it's either for the best, like things are going to definitely change and, and it's, um, the outcome is going to be for the better with this not going forward. Or this could be um, a situation where it's not pushing, where it's not taking off. Eventually it will take off. It's just going to have to, you just have to wait for these, the, the turn of events to happen. Okay. So six of sorts. Yeah. Receive that peace of mind that you need to receive. Move forward. Continue to work on whatever it is that you need to work on. Okay? Love yourself first in the situation also. To try to pull yourself out of that self-imposed self -imposed imprisonment energy and feeling as if things aren't working out on your, in your favor. Let's move on. Clear how the Four of Swords. Yeah. Um, the, the Four of Wands. So, Four on top of Four. Three of Pentacles here at the bottom of the decks, but we do have the three of four, three of Wands at the top that goes into this Four of Wands here. So I do feel like you want the right pair, right? But at this moment, there may need to be healing and forgiveness within you and this person, all right? Within you and this relationship, because that's probably the reason why things aren't taking off. It's because someone needs to deal with some healing, deal with some issues. In order to work on this relationship, take a leap of faith and work on this relationship. See, the 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 um the new beginning is here, but it's a excuse that background noise, like please, because I, I refuse to just stop again. <laughs> but anyways, so we have this new beginning. The the new beginning is here, but it's going to have to take um a person to put in the work within themselves and in that relationship. Okay, making the best choices and decisions for oneself. Clarify the seven of pentacles, please. We have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands on top of the Seven of Pentacles. So this idea that you want to grow. This, this Okay, so the way I see this here is this Ace of Wands being connected to this Three of Wands, which will make that Four of Wands that we just seen, right? But with this Ace of Wands, with this idea of this being a passion and new beginning, so it's like this is still going to take some growing. This is still going to take some work. It's still going to take that love and, and, and attention and care, just like a plant, for it to grow. And for a person to not give up on the true love situation. And um, look, where, once, where a person was once rejecting an opportunity, I feel like things are about to get towered out. It's going to be a sudden shift where a person thought they wasn't going to be happy or fulfilled or whatever. Look, wish fulfillment within oneself first and foremost but it's about having that energy within self allowing this to grow allowing this um this flame to ignite even uh even higher or even even better or whatever i'm looking for at the moment but we don't want it to we don't we don't want too much of a flame right we, we need to keep a balance in that situation. So just allowing this new beginning to grow, allowing it to get to, to the point of having this foundation, right? And not trying to rush the situation. Clarify the four of, one, four of cups. Excuse me, I got the wrong deck. Clarify the four of cups. We, yeah, see, the nine of swords. And this is the reason why you in that energy of thinking about rejecting all of the new opportunities that swords is trying to bless you with because of the worry and doubt. All right. So, you know what? The way I feel about this is that and when that energy of worry and doubt comes along, just start praying for like uh, um, the control of your thoughts. 
Pray, pray, pray for the things that you actually look forward to in life. Pray for um, your thoughts to be protected, your energies to, prote be, to be protected because all of this stuff imposed imprisonment is wrapped around your wish fulfillment, right? Your clarity is keeping you from seeing the situation clearly. Clarify the will of fortune. So we have the queen of swords popping out. Speaking your truth, listening, um, honoring your truth, being logical about the situation. With this Knight of Pentacles, I kind of felt that there somewhere, uh, taking things slow, allowing things to grow. Two of Pentacles, being able to handle what you have and healing oneself. Uh, it will take some some type of communication, healing and communication in order to push forward through a situation that may have been dramatic to bring in that renewed hope and faith here. Hope that made some type of sense. What's the Ace of Wands? The Queen of Wands, there you go. This could be with someone from the past that you guys may be coming together with. Yep, towards the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah. You guys um, have the one, you have the tool, you have what it takes in order for this to manifest into that Ten of Pentacles energy look that you're looking for. But there's the need, there's a need to look at the bright side. There's a need to allow things to grow. There's a need to appreciate the things that's already working out in your life. Okay? Let's get some messages from the Love Oracles and um, Romance Angels, I, sh I should say. And we'll get out, out of here. Out of here. <laughs> All right, Leo. Messages for the sign of Leo, please. Other messages here for the sign of Leo. More messages here for the sign of Leo. Like, forgive me for real for all the distractions in my background. I just refuse to go back and forth. Right now. Or be upset. I just want to get this done. Um, working on my temple. More messages here for the sign of Leo. Messages here for the sign of Leo. We have the um the the deck upside down. But we have playfulness falling out. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to uh, mm, a fun to shine. Uh you deserve love. You are lovable. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that because you may be feeling as if love isn't coming in for you. You are lovable. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right, I told you. You may have a feeling that this person is coming in. They are. Healing family issues is at the bottom of the deck. More messages for Leo. More messages here for the sign of Leo. We have separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I wouldn't be too surprised if you guys are in separation in this moment. Call it in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And it's kind of in reverse, so I'm going to just say this. You guys, um, with the focusing on the dark side of energy, you won't be really calling in your soulmate. <laughs> so we got to free ourselves. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from that dark energy, that self-imposed imprisonment. And call in that soulmate that you're looking for. You probably already called to me a honeymoon. Enjoy this bliss of holiday time together. That tried to flip out in reverse also. So for some reason, you're not able to spend time with your partner and have that honeymoon phase that you're looking for. But at the bottom of the deck, it says this could be the one. You've already met the rom met the romantic partner that you seek. And then soulmate is already out here. Um... Yes, even though the things that may not be working out between you and this person at the moment, it could be like some um, um, other obligations that a person has to need, needs to handle or something like that. But just remember that you deserve love. Even though if, if this didn't work out, what's for you is for you. We have this. This is crazy. This could be the one. This is what the cards are saying. You've already met the romantic part of music. So this came out. More messages. It's just the fact that it's just not something is unclear at the moment, and it's all. I feel like it's more of a test to see if you're going to backtrack or not. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, you may be worrying and, and doubting the situation, but love yourself first. 
it's underneath separation. So you may be separated from this person, but remember, just because you're separated from this person, this energy doesn't mean that you're not loved and you don't have to like um, um, hound a person. Don't hound a person and don't try to dig your claws into this person if you guys just not able to be in together in the moment. So once again, love yourself first. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Leo, that was your reading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. If you're looking for a personal reading, all of the information is down below. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.